welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are all doing very well. Uh, so today's reading is focused on you and what you can possibly do next in regards to this connection. Um, you know, whatever connection that you're asking about really. So we have three groups today. We have group one, group two, and group three, if you want to pause the video to choose your pile, feel free to do so. But I shall see you guys in your reading. Hey there, for those of you who chose the first group, this one is for you guys. So for those of you who chose this crystal, uh, this is for you, okay? So I'll leave this down here. So we're asking, what should you do next in regards to this connection? Uh, the connection that you're asking about here okay? and we have so we're gonna, i'm going to pull your tarot cards first so what should you okay so what should you do next in regards to this connection so we have the three of pentacles we have the four of pentacles reverse and we have the king of swords uh reversed as well so the first thing i actually heard for this group is the next thing that you sh you could i'm not going to say should do but uh, the next thing that you could do in regards to the connection you're um, asking about you could be being asked to kind of um i'm hearing like stop being so harsh so if you feel like you've been you know harsh towards yourself or towards this person in regards to this connection then you are are being asked to um you know look more deeply into that i'm sorry i'm just going to pause the video just so i can straighten the camera because it's really bugging me Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are asked, um, being asked to kind of release control as well, to kind of go with the flow a bit more when it when it comes to this connection. But you're also being asked to work with this person. Um, I feel like uh, whoever you're asking about, I feel like I feel like you guys could both be very, um, I don't know, talented or you could both maybe you guys both work well as a team and you are being asked to kind of work with this person instead of against this person you are also being asked um or guided to kind of work on your communication skills try not to be so closed off try not to um i don't know if any of you have had have kind of either been like really cold towards this person or if you're in a more deeper connection with this person uh, if any of you have been, I want to say, I want to say manipulative, you know, communication wise, whether it's um, like whether it's intentional or unintentional, whether there's, you know, reasons behind it, you guys are being asked to kind of work on communication in regards to this, uh, you know, connection and uh, lower your guard down you know try not to be so defensive try not to be so harsh like you guys are being asked to you know let go of control and uh, allow things to throw, um, flow uh, freely uh, in this connection and to work with them you know some of you could be uh, encouraged to maybe I'm hearing start a business with this person or kind of just work on a joint project with this person uh, maybe that will, um, you know, kind of make your bond a bit stronger with them. Maybe you will learn to trust this person uh, a bit more. But yeah, you guys are definitely being asked to kind of, uh, to kind of open yourself up to receiving love a bit more and giving that love freely as well. With the Four of Pentacles, I feel like, yeah, you guys are definitely be, being guided to, um, Try not to be so in control, like, especially with the King of Swords being there. So control could be, like, a big issue for this group. Maybe you have to, maybe you feel like you have to be in control. Like, the, like I can be similar in some respects, you know, and I know the reason why I like to be in control is because I never had control before, you know. So, like, now it's just like I have to be in control, you know. So some of you could have, you know, deeper reasons for why you need to be in control. So I feel like you guys are, are, are being asked to kind of dig deep a little bit and just kind of, uh, see or kind of get to the root uh, cause of uh, this disconnect when it comes to communication okay so let's see what else we have for you guys <clears throat> okay <laughs> so if any of you are actually in separation with this person or 
um if you guys are on a pause um you know if communication has actually been blocked for some of you guys you are being um some of you are being you know asked to consider reconciling with this person and we also have uh, romantic feelings so some of you are also being asked to maybe reveal your feelings to this person like like stop holding yourself back is what i'm hearing honestly We also have a sensitive emotion. So yeah, you guys are really being asked to kind of be more sensitive, not only towards this person's emotions, but towards your own emotions, okay? So what you can do next in regards to this connection, uh, do you know, it's not, I hate saying like, oh, work on your emotions and work on communication because it's like so much, you know, as long as you're being mindful every day of um, how you communicate, how you um relate or connect to other people then i feel like you should be good you know because it's not like a one solution kind of fixes everyone's problem who may like deal with that kind of stuff but as long as you're you know taking steps every day to be mindful of this um then i feel like you guys should be good you know sorry the angle was bugging me again yeah, so some of you are also being asked to honor your emotions as well don't uh, it's like don't try to push your you know your feelings uh to one side or don't try to um i'm hearing like distract yourself you know you guys are being asked to kind of be gentle not only with yourself but with this connection and with uh this person you know but some of you are being asked to kind of focus on your own emotions uh separately before you kind of move forward in this situation <laughs> Like maybe practicing more self-care for yourself, um, you know, taking time to find the root cause of, you know, any blocks that you may have in regards to love and such and stuff. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but yeah. So the next card we actually have is be gentle with yourself. So yeah, you guys are definitely being reminded to be gentle with yourself first. So some of you could be being... Um, like what you should do next is maybe even focus on yourself, you know, focus on your own healing, focus, focus on working through those blocks that you have um, and, you know, do what you have to do in order to heal and recover from any, you know, past events that may affect how you accept love in this moment, you know. So, yeah, for some of you guys, you are being asked to so definitely focus on yourself first. Uh, be gentle with yourself, um, honour your emotions, don't try to, you know, hide it or push it away. Like, re reconciliation will come, but I feel like first, uh, there definitely may need to be some uh, inner work that needs to be done, <laughs> you know? Uh, so, you guys are all being asked to accept the challenge, okay? So, if things have been challenging with this person in this connection, even with yourself, okay, you're being asked to, uh, you know, you know, challenge accepted. <laughs> Whenever I see that card, that's what I hear. But anyways, so you guys are definitely being asked to, um, yeah, to trust yourself and to trust that you have the ability to, um, to lean into these challenges, okay? So I feel like this group is definitely not being encouraged to run away. I feel like you are being encouraged to um, face any challenging emotions within yourself, but to also accept and face any challenges you have within this connection. So I feel like you guys are being asked to actually kind of work on this uh, right now with your person. But at first, obviously, you know, take care of yourself. So we have here return to joy. So I feel like you guys are definitely being asked to work on this connection. And I feel like once you work on yourself and then work on this connection like i feel like you guys are definitely being reminded to live in the moment um and to oh and to just chill out you know kind of focus on the good stuff in this relationship if you have like a tendency to you know uh you know think about the bad things or maybe overthinking and stuff like that you are being asked to kind of tackle those challenges you have within yourself and then return to joy because you deserve to be happy this person deserves to be happy if they're a good person you know but um 
and I feel like you guys could you do have potential to be happy together but there definitely needs to be some ne there definitely needs to be work that needs to be done both individually and separately okay so that is all I have for you group one i hope this reading makes sense for you i hope it resonates for your situation and that it could provide you with some sort of clarity um and you know some usefulness <laughs> but anyways that is all i have for you so take care of yourself group one bye hey there group two welcome to your reading for those of you who chose this so heart shaped rock this is for you guys so what should you do next in regards to this connection let's look at your tarot cards first okay so so the first card we have is the ten of cups interesting we have the seven of wands oh, interesting and we have the ace of cups reversed hmm so what should you do next in regards to this connection yeah so this group is a little interesting well not interesting but yeah i feel like for this group you are uh what you should do next in regards to this connection is honestly i'm getting uh, the message to protect yourself to protect your energy to protect your dreams and your goals um some of you are being asked to kind of pull pull back when it comes uh, to this connection and showing your emotions and giving your love, giving your resources and giving all that you have to offer so freely because I feel like you are this ten of cups. I feel like people feel safe around you, people feel comforted around you but also because you do exhibit those qualities it can um, you know open the door to people who I don't know i don't want to say take advantage i mean if that is your situation and if that resonates with you then definitely take that um but regardless you guys are being asked to um to kind of pull back uh emotionally from this connection or this person i feel like for some of you also you are being asked to instead of focusing on this connection you are being asked to redirect your focus um towards towards your family yeah so especially if any of you have kids so you are being asked to like instead of focusing on this relationship just focus on your kids if it's not kids then it, you are definitely being asked to like reconnect with your family or connect with your family or to even lean on your family at this point and maybe ask them for their support and their guidance okay but uh you know for whatever reason you are being asked to kind of um to kind of put your guard up in regards to this connection for right now you know um i don't know this person this person could be low-key jealous of you i mean if that resonates for your situation um yeah so this person could be jealous uh if you have a lot of support around you if you have a lot of supportive people around you then that could be a source, I mean, a reason, not a source, or, but that could be, uh, you know, a reason for their jealousy. So, yeah, you guys are definitely being asked to pull back from this connection at this moment and kind of just focus on the people uh, and the communities that do give you the love that you, I love and support that you just do deserve, you know? So for some of you, so strange, I'm getting the message like no more Mrs. Nice Girl or no, no more Mr. Nice Guy. You are being asked to kind of assert yourself, to um, assert your, you know, your beliefs, like no longer, yeah, you know, giving your love so freely. So you are being asked to kind of, you know, I'm not necessarily, I'm not saying, you know, end it with this person, but you are being asked um or you know guided to being uh, more assertive in this connection yeah and definitely um yeah to hold your ground as well so let's see what else we have here <laughs> 
So for some of you, um, the next card we have is healing family issues. So for some of you, um, you know, you are being asked to, I don't know, I, I don't know if this is for two separate groups or, you know, whatever, but I am getting the message that for some of you, you are being kind of asked to pull your attention away from this person, at least for now, so that you can uh, work on healing um, any, like, I don't want to say important connections, you know, but like kind of like familiar connections or, you know, people you know, people who are in your close circle, okay? So if there is any healing that needs to be done uh, in regards to this, um, in regards to other connections, then you are being encouraged to do that. Uh, for some of you, I mean, if you do have, you know, parental wounds, you are being asked to kind of look into that as well and, um, you know, kind of work with yourself in order to find a solution that helps you. Um... The next card we have is give your relationship a chance. So for some of you, you are actually being asked to kind of give this connection a chance, but you are being uh, encouraged to definitely be firm, to stand your ground and to accept no BS, okay? Like no more, no more Mrs. Nice Guy. No, I said Mrs. Nice Guy. <laughs> but yeah, no more, you know, playing nice. Like, it's time to be a bit more firm, I feel like, in regards to this connection. But you are being encouraged to uh, work on this partnership and give this connection a chance if that's something, uh, you know, you feel inclined to do. So yeah, you guys are definitely, like, with the Seven of Wands being here as well, you guys are being reminded to value yourself, um, value your self-worth, value... Uh, what it is that you bring to the table and what it is that you offer in this connection and don't accept any less you know I feel like that's why that seven of wands is there it's like if you're not gonna match me then you need to like go on you know <laughs> so yeah you guys are being reminded to definitely value your self-worth um in regards to this connection for sure and we also have let yourself sparkle and shine so yeah you guys are definitely being encouraged to take the lead to step into the spotlight and to not i was going to say not inhibit yourself but i'm pretty sure that doesn't make sense like <laughs> not to restrict yourself that's what i meant to say like don't restrict yourself step into the light um and be bold you know be bold be assertive i'm getting like fiery energy so definitely lead with your more fiery uh nature so we have here speak out yeah you guys are being asked to like cut the bullshit like to um to speak up for yourself to communicate with this person in order for you uh to resolve any conflicts but <laughs> like i said before um like i'm not saying don't come from a place of love but like don't come from a place of love you know <laughs> come from a place of this is what i will and will not accept you know so yeah i feel like you guys are definitely being encouraged to be uh, firm in regards to this connection definitely speak your truth and um you know work on communicating with this person so that you are able to kind of get to the root of whatever issues that may be coming up for you guys okay <laughs> but for others of you if you don't even know this person i feel like for some i feel like you guys like already have been in like a deep connection with this person but if you haven't um then you could just be being encouraged to i don't know to tell someone you like them I don't know. Okay. and finally we have celebration make your life a celebration so you guys are being encouraged to even though i feel like you may have to deal with a bit of a tense situation i feel like you guys are being encouraged to um to you know connect with your family and friends and you know the people in your life that do make you happy uh you are being encouraged to like focus your intention attention and intentions more on those relationships rather than this one um i feel like obviously you know you are being encouraged to work on it but also you know don't give all your don't let this person like take all your uh you know loving and happy energy from you um instead kind of just focus on the people who do fill your cup you know but anyways that is all i have for you group two i hope this makes sense for your uh situation and like always i never want these readings to like be me shoving you know information down your throat like if it resonates with your situation 
and if it makes sense for you then definitely take it but if it doesn't make sense then you know just throw it away but anyways guys that's all i have for you and i'm wishing you all the best on your journeys okay so take care bye hey there group two i mean group three <laughs> It's funny because when I said group two, I looked at the camera and there was two, two, two there. So I don't know. If you want to look into the meaning of that, that could be quite specific for your situation, perhaps. I don't know. But anyways, guys, welcome to your reading. Group three, welcome to your reading. Those of you who chose this crystal, let's do this. So what should you do next in regards to this connection? Let's look at your tarot cards first. So we have... We have the Nine of Wands reverse. We have the Tower. So we have quite heavy energy here, but we're ending with uh, the Judgment card. So I feel like this group, I feel like the message coming through is pretty, pretty clear. I feel like you guys are being asked to liberate yourself. I feel like I heard cut your losses. So for some of you guys, you are being asked to either detach from this situation completely or at least for now i feel like there needs to be like you're being encouraged to initiate a major change in this uh connection kind of like uh deconstructing everything and um you know until there's nothing so you guys are either being asked to either you know kind of start over like from scratch you know start again either with this person in mind or you're being asked to kind of clear the trash completely okay so <laughs> i don't mean to call this person trash but um you know whatever resonates for you but you guys are definitely being asked to um like reconsider where you're pouring your energy like if this person is taking a lot of your time and energy if there's a lot of conflict that like you guys are being encouraged to liberate yourself so yeah if you feel like uh this just isn't working anymore then you are being asked to you know shake shit up and kind of make a drastic change in regards to this connection like if it's not working you are being asked to free yourself um and if if things have been tense for quite some time but no changes have been made I feel like if that continues, then the universe or, you know, the higher powers that you, uh, you know, resonate with, I feel like it's like if you don't make the necessary changes, then I'm going to make that change for you, okay? And with that nine of wands being uh, in reverse, like sometimes I see it as let your guard down, but I feel like at this present time, I'm actually um, getting the message of you guys, you know, kind of keeping your defenses up, like being, you know, cautious being not only cautious of yourself but cautious of um other people because i feel like yeah this group is being definitely being encouraged to make a major change and like with judgment being being there as well like you are being you know like it could be beneficial for you to let go of the past and i feel like some of you are really being asked to level up you know i feel like some of you only if this resonates so I feel like some of you have been in a very rocky and tense connection with your person. I'm hearing even for some of you, this person, I don't want to say they're not on your level. Like they may not be as dedicated, you know, to improvement as you. I don't know. I don't I don't want to say it in a bad way, you know, because it's it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it just means that you guys might not be aligned at this moment. Uh, but yeah, you guys are definitely being asked to level up. Like, you guys are being encouraged to make a change, to leave the past in the past. Like, if it's not working for you, if if it's not something that you want to see in your future, then you are being asked to kind of let that shit go. And because there is a major transformation coming up for you guys. And I feel like that's what you guys need to embrace. You need to embrace that personal uh, transformation and kind of just focus on yourself um for right now yeah some of you are also being asked to confront this person or confront this connection uh for others of you
for others of you it's like with the judgment card being that it's like there is a chance at a new start there's a chance at a new love if that's something that you want but you guys are first being asked to kind of clear out the trash like clear out the trash clear out what is no longer working for you and then focus on your transformation i feel like this transformation is coming anyway but i feel like the <laughs> I feel like this journey could either be a smooth one or it can be, a di I feel like it, it may be difficult, you know, you know, with the tower, even though, like, for me, the tower is, like, actually my favourite card because, you know, when I've had my tower moments in life, it has opened up such a beautiful new life for me and I feel like that's what's coming for you guys, but I feel like if you don't, if you're not the one to initiate that change, then the journey could be much more difficult than it needs to be if that makes sense okay um so yeah let go of the past and embrace this new future that is forging for you honestly so what we have here next is chemistry and we also have new love so we have i'm, I'm being drawn to the word magnetic okay so i feel like you know what you guys should do i'm not saying focus on a new love but i feel like once you know this stuff is cleared out uh there is a chance to uh reclaim either this relationship or reclaim a new love a new start but i feel like it starts with you and it starts with you kind of setting the model for what you desire and for what you want okay so there is uh great chemistry and uh, an amazing attraction coming for you it could either be with the connection on your mind but i feel like for the most part and for the majority of you this is going to be um a new love so yeah you definitely are being encouraged to you know shovel the shit you know clear the negativity clear out the trash and kind of focus on leveling up so that you can have this new love and i feel like when this new love or this new start comes towards you um it will be uh you know a connection like i'm not gonna say this is gonna be your soulmate you know i'm not gonna say all of that but this person and you will definitely share a magnetic bond and um, a very strong attraction towards one another okay Ooh, so yeah you guys are definitely being encouraged to kind of clear the negativity from within you and from around you okay like oh. do you know how like when you have an old house and then like that house kind of just is like filled with trash and then you need to like kind of clear it all out and just like rebuild and restart i feel like that's what you guys are being encouraged to do to be honest you know and we have here give it to god so some of you are also being asked to call on your higher powers whether that's your higher self whether that is uh you know the universe ancestors spirit guides angels animals you know whatever it is for you god sorry i didn't say that but yeah you are being uh, encouraged to kind of give this situation to god i feel like that is not um an invitation <laughs> For you guys to not do anything i just have to like kind of put that out there but you are being asked to kind of um ask for more clarity ask for more clarity ask for a sign direction from your higher powers so that you are better able to navigate uh whatever is coming next for you guys you know we also have here finding the path so you guys i'm hearing uh Oh, I, I heard it but i can't remember what i heard like i'm hearing you know kind of redefine your path redefine your goals i feel like some of you are being asked um what you need to do next in regards to this connection is kind of be the navigator be the decision maker be the one calling the shots is what i'm hearing um kind of taking control is what i believe that you guys need to do next and finally we have work of art some of you guys need to appreciate how beautiful you are okay like you are being reminded to appreciate what you bring to the table and how fucking awesome you are how talented you are how beautiful you are how creative you are you are being reminded so maybe 
I don't know I feel like you guys there's like so many big changes coming for you guys and I feel like it is so positive but I feel like the first thing that needs to be done is definitely to kind of clear the bullshit take control and kind of own how powerful and beautiful you are okay and don't I'm hearing uh, expressive you know creative expression is what I'm hearing so for some of you, you guys could be encouraged to express yourself creatively um, or find in a creative solution. But the main message I'm hearing is now is definitely the time to put in the work to make these changes, these positive changes happen for you, okay? Um, so yeah, that is all I have for you, group three. I hope this reading makes sense for you and your situation. And as usual, I kind of just want this reading to be a confirmation towards your own intuition rather than me shoving like um you know stuff down you guys' throat like that's not my intention at all so yeah that is all i have for you group three i'm wishing you guys all the best on your journeys and i'm looking forward to that level up you know so take care of yourself guys bye